Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click like and of course the subscribe button right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. So to wrap new banger a new first video, you will definitely be notified. Let's just get straight here right here without hesitation. So, um, former PFL um MMA champion Kayla Harrison, who of course recently signed um was a recent signee of uh, Dana White. They made a very bold claim, um, saying that um she roughed roughed up um uh, Israel the Sawyer the last time and uh, saying that um that uh, <laughs> she put him if she puts him on his back um she will mess him up well the story right is right here so we all know the scuffle between combat sports promotion already between uh you know, like amongst UFC and PFO. Okay. But according to this girl right here, Kayla Harrison, I have to say I've never heard of her. I had to do some research about her. She's a two time Olympic gold medalist. I have to say our resume is impressive. Uh well we have to say that bro. And uh she's like um she she won the twenty two uh, the twenty ten World uh, Judo Championships, gold medals at twenty uh, twenty twelve and twenty sixteen Olympics, and gold at the twenty eleven and twenty fifteen Pan American Games. If you look at her resume right here, bro, like you see gold, gold, bronze, gold, 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 silver, bronze, bronze, gold, gold. <laughs> <laughs> bro and also this girl she tends to have a very manly look in a way but making such a claim is very very like um i don't know what like, it's a little bit um wild in my opinion now yes of course she Listen. said this Everyone. and responding to our daughters this is when she she fought under the banner of a pfl let's hear let's hear from her listen everyone keeps saying oh how do you solve the kayla harrison puzzle how do you beat her blah 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 what's the how, what's spoiler alert there is no freaking puzzle i put you on your back and i mess you up scientists you kept you kept talking about scientists oh the scientists at city kickboxing <laughs> easy couldn't stop my takedowns well you heard that easy couldn't stop my takedown referring to Israel the soya now there's a book claim from uh kayla harrison you can tell that she's very you know she's very bold she's very courageous um and she has the resume to back it up but I think her professional debut, um, professional UFC debut, uh, takes place around April. We're gonna see how far she goes because UFC is like the is a mega platform for Miss Martial Arts, you know, because they've got the bigger platform compared to Bellator or PFL and the rest. Let's go about on here, Tajabwe, uh, to give you a stake on this uh, topic right here in regards to Kayla Harrison saying that Israel Desire couldn't stop a, a takedown. Basically, couldn't do anything. What do you make of uh, our statement, bruv? She's a, she's a, new, a new signee of Dana White. She's now in the big boys league. You think, I mean, 
I don't want to be sexist in, a, sexist in a way, but I think there is is a reason why women fight women and men fight men in mixed martial art. Or do you like some people are saying that they are not really far off, you know, um, terms of weight class. It's just like when <laughs> Claire said she said she could beat uh, Keith Thurman, right? Um, which I doubt. And also, we had we've had females, you know, fighters um, advocating and um, calling out uh, male fighters. Is she the real deal, or is she just going to be, get found out very soon? I'll take out this, bro. You know what? She's standing on business. That's good. And. I was trying to discredit her, but to my, to, you know, much to my surprise in her uh, background, you know, and uh, I don't know, let me see if she has a background in, uh, what's, what's, what is, what's her name again? Kayla Harrison. Kayla Harrison, yes. I see she, her, her, her pedigree. You know, her resume speaks highly. Bro, she, it's funny, huh? Like, all you see is gold. Bronze, gold, gold, bronze, gold, bronze, silver, gold. Yeah. Bro, two times Olympic. The way she looks, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Has she ever failed a drug test before? Fuck. I don't know. know. But those guys, they test. In the Olympic, they probably test, you know. She's, she's about 5'8". That's a big girl. Uh, 155. I'm pretty sure she walks around maybe like 180 or something. You know, I'm looking at this female, bro. <laughs> Man, she is. She her testosterone level is definitely high. I'm not gonna lie. It looks like it's pretty high. You know. And you know, females they don't they don't produce like that. And I gotta say, she she, I I wanted to discredit her, but now that I'm looking at her, I'll have to say. The likely chance of that happening is probably it's probably it's probably true. You know, people are gonna hate this, but listen, your favorite fighter, Israel, you know, is a blue belt in judo in jiu-jitsu, if I'm not mistaken. He's he's not that good of a wrestler. He was never a wrestler, he's not a Kamaru Uzra. He's not that. No. Israel is more more of a of a kickboxer. And and um, and a striker, you know, and we all see we all see what happens when he gets taken down. It's like he, he's like he's like lost, you know. He doesn't know what to do. <coughs> I mean, coming against her, Kayla Harrison, who has who has a, a, a nothing but gold, gold, gold. I, I'm not even sure. I'm trying to figure out, uh, <laughs> bro. Let me count how many goals she has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one gold, bro. Yeah. Well, I'm not even kind of bronze or silver, bro. Gold. <laughs> twenty-one gold, bro. Can you, bro? Twenty-one gold medals throughout her career, like. This is mad, but she's 33 years old. Yeah. 33, 5'8, 155. I'm pretty sure she probably walks around 170, 165, one, not even 170 for sure. When it comes time to weigh in, man, that girl's big. She's a big girl. You know, so I could, I could, I'm pretty but, sure but she's I, I, I don't feel like you, for you to be this girl, you have to avoid being taken down by her. Yeah, that's that is very and true. Against I don't e see and her. against easy before you take easy down, you probably get punched <laughs> like punched to the wall. Can she handle it? Can she handle it? That's the thing, you know. A a a a a, a, male, a male a man a male's uh, punch he uh, he's different from a, a female's punch, bro. Females can be very strong, but yeah. I'm yeah, telling yeah. you, um, we need they need to test this girl more. We need to know. If she's on the juice because she looks very 
she looks like she looks different you get what i mean mm -hmm. i <coughs> i think um you know she might have been going hard you know these people i've seen sparring matches where one fighter is going hard the other one is just taking it as a sparring match and not going hard so is is does that is there a chance that Izzy probably took a light on her? Yeah. But there's also a chance that she um, she really took Izzy down. And Izzy, Izzy didn't snuff that takedown? Yeah. And there's also a chance that she was beating Izzy when she was on top. Absolutely. I believe so. You know, I, I tried, I tried, I looked into it. You know, I, I don't want to discredit her. Izzy, Izzy, Izzy hasn't denied it yet, huh? Funny enough. Nah, he hasn't denied it. You know? Yeah, yeah. not denied it. <laughs> Bro, could it be like easy took it easy on her, or, or did it, it wasn't really serious? It's, I could say probably both. You know, probably both. So I, I, I believe. So I'm just gonna have to give it to her. Say yes, yeah, she probably took. She probably took easy down. So, yeah. I believe it. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> I still can't believe it. <laughs> bro, Kayla Harrison, I, 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 I swear, bro, I never, I never, I never knew of her, bro. I never, I had no idea who she was. But now that I know, I'm very much interested in, uh, you know, in watching a, a UFC debut. I think it takes place April, uh, around April 20, 23, right? Yeah. She might be another. Might be another. Uh, what's that girl? From no, April, April, April thirteen. I guess I don't know. But she will make a professional debut. Be as well as a bantamweight debut against former UFC. Yeah. So she will be making a. She will making a. Um. Making a debut against Holly Holmes. Holly Holmes. Oh wow. Um, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be a good fight then. Let's Bro. see. But Holly Holmes is uh, past her um a prime. Past her prime, yeah, she's done. Holly Holmes is she's done. But she's yeah. still got you know how old is how old is Holly Holmes right now? She's pretty old. Oh, uh, okay. She's uh forty two. Damn, she's yeah. fight, fighting still for at forty two? Well, Kilaris and probably take her down and I'll be there. <coughs> Crazy, huh? I'm, I'm impressed by a resume. I have to be, I have to be, I have to be say because you don't, you don't have 21 gold medals, you know, <laughs> just for, for being a, for, 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 for being a bomb or something or for being, uh, being a, maybe regular. You get me? So, none of those things. I look forward to it. So, guys, what do you make of this? Oh, uh, give it to us below, like, like and share. Of course, subscribe to the channel. Did Killer Harrison really put uh, his word to down and uh, mess him up or not? Tell us, tell us, y'all.